learning with Sean the Science Kid here. And I'm here with a magic ring. It is blue, but when you flip it over, it becomes red. And it mirrors colors. Flip red, blue, red, blue. Very weird, right? Have you ever wanted to make one for yourself? Well, here is how. First of all, you're gonna take any sheet of paper. This is the one I used for the first two I made. And you're going to fold the... <coughs> <coughs> you're gonna fold and measure the strip length you want and cut that out. Now, here's something you can do can do it the longer and harder way and cut both of them individually or you can overlap two papers and cut it and do it the cool modern way. I chose the cool modern way because I'm cool and modern. So, let's see. Okay, now that we have our two strips, we're going to color one of them yellow, and we're going to color the other them purple. So, here's something I should alert you about first. In, there are some instances where you can choose your own colors, but to make it look cooler, you want to do colors that are opposites on the color wheel. Let's bring my other magic ring. It's orange and green because those are opposites of the color wheel. And this one is red and blue because those are opposites of the color wheel. And purple and yellow are opposites on the color wheel. So let's just color them in really quickly. So I'm done drawing them and this is what they look like. Now what you're going to do is you're going to want to either glue or double sided tape them together. And it'll be back to back so that we don't see the absolute horrid mess that is the other side. And the thing is, really, you can just go buy some colored paper and do this by yourself. But what I'm doing is I'm doing it DIY fully and not going out to some dollar store and getting paper. No, I know better. So personally, I'm using nano tape because, you know, it's double sided and all. And that's exactly what I need. I don't have access to adult scissors, so I'm going to have to use kitty scissors. And kitty scissors are literally useless as normal scissors, so this is going to take a while to cut. So anyway, what you're going to do is you are going to like feel like you're breaking your nails, but since this thing is so pliable... It's actually saving your nails, but not saving your time. Ugh. So anyway, yay. And then you're going to lay it at the back. This. For some reason, my like actually flies up to the nanotape. I don't know if it's static charge or something. Anyway, yeah. So we're going to tape it. Make sure it's aligned or else it might give away the illusion that it's just magic. And really, it's what well, it's the step we're about to do next. Like, and I'm not talking about like, that's what makes the magic or we cast a spell on it. No, this next step is literally the one defining reason why it looks the way it does. So anyway, you're going to fold it in half. 
Then you're going to cut it in half. Then you're going to do some folding. You're gonna fold this like this. Then you're gonna fold in so that it's like this. And then fold it in half again. So it becomes half of an octagon. Look. Then you're gonna do the same to the other side. You're gonna do the same to the other side. You're gonna do the same to the other side. Make sure that they're opposites so that what ends up happening is folded the opposite side. So one side will have the yellow facing out or the purple facing out if you favor purple. <clears throat> and another side's gonna have the yellow facing out. And a, a way to test a way to test if it looks good is to hold it together like this. And seems like mine holding up pretty well so then <clears throat> we're going to do a little folding you're gonna actually fold a little sliver off of one side so that's like this do the same to the other side do the same to the other side and then you're gonna put it together and see how it's like make it like a bird then you're going to cut like a really small sliver of nano tape or just use glue. <sighs> okay. Okay. And then let's see. You're going to take that and put it on the little sliver. This one, if you want, you can stretch it out to the entire sliver. And this time it won't actually like Curve the paper, scoliosis style. Let's see, where do we fold? Okay, here, let's see. And then, yep, that's it. Then you're gonna nano tape it like that. Oh, so guys, I did not realize this, it actually flies. Never mind. Ugh. You're gonna do the same to the other side. You're gonna do the same to the other side. I'm gonna try and cover up this mess as best as I can. I feel like it's not gonna do much to the performance though, besides make it look a little less cool. So yeah, I'm gonna cut another small sliver of nano tape. <laughs> you gotta like do this to actually get through anything. It's not like one sheet of paper that's weak and afraid. Ugh. Two papers, no, I can't do that. Three papers, in your dreams, buddy. You're gonna have to ask the teacher for the adult scissors for that one. <sighs> oh, finally you came off. Stop being so stubborn. Okay. Stretch. Ooh, nice. Okay. So, yep. And this, this, this is how it turned out. You're definitely going to need to do some trimming when it comes to this finished product. But, <clears throat> see. So, you're going to want to trim those folds. And I think this one should be done. Then you fold those little pieces, and then bam, it's done. Hmm. I'm gonna fold this side here, and then this one. Let's see, yellow. you think it's working? Uh-huh. So anyway, that's how to make it. 
and actually that little rip did not do much and it still looks amazing mm -hmm. so <clears throat> the thing is to guide you on your color choice you're going to want to do for one side a warm color and for the other side a cool color like blue warm co warm color orange cool color green warm color yellow cool color purple <laughs> so yeah you're actually gonna want to make a really definite edge at these edges here where like they switch from yellow to purple because those will actually throw off your entire act and make these look so very fake you wouldn't want that would you so now yeah okay yep anyway that is how you make the magical color changing paper thingy <laughs> anyway bye and keep on sciencing <laughs>